Welcome to 21st Century Business. I'm Jackie Bales. More and more consumers and businesses are practicing good recycling habits. They sort their paper, plastics, and aluminum and dispose of them properly. However, many are still flummoxed when it comes to problems of e-waste, the damaged or obsolete electronics sitting in offices and warehouses around the world. Now, ERS International, or Electronics Recycling Services, has been hard at work making e-waste recycling easier and more accessible for over a decade. Here to discuss their solutions, we have President and CEO Sam Kazamani, Harry Jawanda, Senior Vice President of Global Operations, and Jeffrey Mendez, Global Marketing Communications Director. Welcome, gentlemen. Thank you for having us. Thank you for having us. It's great to be here, Jackie. Sam, it seems like electronics are practically disposable in the fact that new technology is constantly coming out. But do people really know what they're supposed to do with the old stuff? Well, Jackie, it's a very good question. And uh, yes, uh, majority of, unfortunately, majority of uh, consumers are not aware of uh, the level that electronic recycling uh, has come up with uh, to be able to recycle material, especially the level that ERS International has been able to achieve. So therefore, all these could come to our facility and be disposed of properly according to the regulations. And uh, with public having uh, you know, the certainty that these materials will be fully recycled back into new products. So tell us who ERS is, Harry, tell us more. We're a company that's based out of Toronto, and uh, globally we have 11 locations, and we have over 800 employees in our company. Wow, and all devoted to recycling. So Jeffrey, how does ERS solve the problem of e-waste for your clients? Well, Jackie, from our vast network of global locations, our logistics, our proprietary processing system, our audit certification processes, and of course security, we assure that all e-waste gets responsibly diverted from landfill and processed accordingly. Excellent. To stay current with ever-evolving technological advancements and requirements, most companies find the need to replace their IT equipment every few years. However, what these companies may not know is that there is a proper and environmentally friendly way of disposing of these items, and a company that can help them do so. When it's time to upgrade equipment, ERS International offers a wide range of services to safely and securely eliminate obsolete office electronic equipment. These days, it's difficult to keep up with waste produced from obsolete electronics and technology. Some electronics contain hazardous materials that pose a risk if they are dumped in a landfill, while other difficult to recycle materials are typically discarded in a non-environmentally friendly way. ERS International goes above and beyond conventional recycling methods. At ERS Manufacturing, design, prototyping, manufacturing, and field testing are all within our control. This allows us to offer better solutions to the industry problems. At ERS Manufacturing, our products are made to meet the toughest international standards and uh, they often exceed the standards uh, required by the countries in which we operate. ERS International is equipped and capable of doing what no other recycling facility in the world can do by introducing groundbreaking upcycling technologies and programs to assure a one-stop shop, closed-loop process that abides by a zero landfill policy. ERS applies their upcycling technologies to difficult to recycle materials Doing so allows exciting new products to be created, effectively reintroducing what was once known as waste back into the economical cycle of life. ERS Manufacturing creates electronics recycling processes. Our products include shredding and separation line, which is used for a variety of uh, electronic scrap, PCB recycling line, which is primarily a line that recycles circuit boards, and recovers base metals and precious metals, CRT, monitor, and TV recycling line. And this line recovers all types of plastics, metals, and glass. We have another line for recycling plastics, which is a line that recovers different types of plastics from electronic scrap. Harry, what specifically constitutes e-waste? 
Anything in your household uh, that's electronics, um, it doesn't have to be only in your homes. It's in libraries, schools, uh, office buildings. So anything, I mean, even like a modern toaster probably Absolutely. has electronics. Yeah. Absolutely. Essentially, if you can plug it in and it has a power button, we want to take care of it and dispose of it accordingly. Huh. Sam, what are the advantages of bringing e-waste to a recycling facility like this? The advantages are, first of all, it, you avoid throwing these in the landfill and therefore, you know, making these, uh, by leaching into the landfill, all these chemicals that are in the electronic waste will end up in your water and, uh, you know, everything else that is very harmful for the environment. But bringing it to a certified recycling company will ensure that all the materials are properly handled and the way that it's supposed to be. Hmm. So Harry, how do e-waste materials get to your facility? So the majority of our e-waste is, um, is brought in uh, via trucks to our facility. Mm -hmm. Our own fleet of trucks that we have locally in every location, and on top of that for uh, you know, every transborder tra shipments that we have, we hire logistics companies to bring in the material from certain collection points that we have. And they are paying you to dispose of this stuff, correct? Um, majority of the times, no, not actually. Really? No. Because what we do, which is very revolutionary, we do a cost sharing with our clients. So what happens is if material, we make money on the material, we give some of that uh, revenue back to our clients. Oh, so wow. it depends if the material has no revenue stream at the end, then there's a cost involved, of course. Okay. Okay, but there are a lot of valuable materials in electronics, exactly. as we all know. That's exactly, you touched the right point. Yes, there's a lot of valuable material that, you know, if, I always say if man can make it, man can break it. So. <laughs> <laughs> Very cool. E-waste removal. ERS safely and securely removes old computers, phone systems, cabling, and other office electronic waste from a client's premises, ensuring electronic equipment is disposed of in an environmentally secure and responsible manner. ERS also provides special services such as warehouse cleanouts. The ERS team of experts arrive on time, quickly and efficiently to get the job done in keeping with each client's specific requirements. Secure transport. ERS ensures that sensitive shipments are transported with highest security measures. ERS has equipped their trucks with black box, GPS, and advanced video technology in order to ensure that all shipments are completely safe and secure. Here's how it works. ERS branch offices will coordinate all arrangements for customer pickup. ERS branch office then notifies the head office coordinator with details of when the shipment is expected to arrive at the branch location. Upon arrival of the shipment, the branch office sends the head office coordinator an email with the date, time, and shipment details. The office coordinator then prepares an email with the full details of the shipment to report to the company's designated distribution list. Secure Data Destruction ERS takes data, product prototypes, and product recalls very seriously. From their proprietary drive lockbox system to their secure shredding process, clients' intellectual property will be protected. Clients can even watch from the comfort of their desk as their items are destroyed through ERS International's online digital video verification system. ERS understands corporate requirements relating to data confidentiality and privacy. The ERS processes are certified by a number of institutions, guaranteeing that waste is being handled in keeping with the highest standards and regulations. Jeffrey, ERS International also prides themselves on having leading edge security. Why all the security features? Well, Jackie, when it comes to uh, e-waste, there's a lot of computers, hence there's a lot of data involved too. This data could involve personal information, financial information, medical records, uh, even more than that, particular products that aren't meant to see the day of the, the light of the floor, such as a product recall or product prototype. So it's pertinent that we actually use leading edge security to make sure that it's disposed of accordingly, responsibly, and of course, securely. And that means, you know, if I had a hard drive at home that 
I wanted to destroy so no one could read the information, I'd probably get out a hammer. What do you do with yours? We actually start with a DOD, Department of Defense, seven pass wipe, which cleans all the information. Huh? Then after that, we shred it. Oh, wow. To assure that it's completely unrecognizable as a hard drive. Very thorough. ERS International goes above and beyond conventional recycling methods. 99.99% .99 of all incoming e-waste is recycled and or processed in an environmentally responsible manner, meaning zero landfill and zero incineration. By designing our own machinery and manufacturing it to our own specifications, it allows us to control the complete process for better quality control and efficiency. We have an electrostatic separator which separates circuit boards into precious metals and fiberglass. The fiberglass is usually thrown away, but we have found a process where we can use it for extrusion of plastic lumber. It's mixed in with other recyclable components that we have, like plastics, for an end product of plastic lumber that you can use for decking or picnic tables or anywhere you would use wood. The uh, advantage of having a uh, manufacturing company here is that we have the opportunity to have people with um, the knowledge of the process of electronics recycling together as a part of a team with engineers and the infrastructure that allows us to manufacture machinery in a faster time frame. We have a faster dream to reality cycle. We can prototype quickly, we can manufacture our equipment at a rapid rate. Also, we can meet all the requirements of the industry, which is recovery, maximum recovery of the uh, material from all types of uh, electronics. ERS International is changing the landscape of recycling by helping organizations meet their corporate social responsibility goals, while also attaining recovery value from their electronic assets. How is e-waste processed otherwise at ERS International? What are you doing with it all? Well, when it comes to e-waste, what we do is we have a proprietary processing line. And the whole point of that is it's actually it's a size reducer. So you'll have your e-waste. It goes into a giant shredder. And from there, it gets getting size reduced, size reduced to the point of pulverization. At that point, we use another proprietary technique, which is called ESS, electrostatic separation, which allows us to actually segregate all the according materials for cleaner, uh, safer, and responsible refining. Huh. So, Harry, is this done because there are hazardous materials in e-waste that need to be taken out? 75 to 80 percent of our, our um, material is separated mechanically via our machine. Mm -hmm. uh, and it just makes more, more sense on a lot of lev levels to have it that way. And there is quite a bit of a hazardous material, isn't there? Depends on what type of the level of hazard in every type of electronic equipment uh, varies. Mm -hmm. So the majority of the hazard that is being identified as being in the, is in the CRT, uh, the old tube TVs and monitors. Oh. That's where they have uh, a lot of uh, chemicals that should not be ever landfilled like uh, lead and cadmium and phosphorus and all these. So these have to be properly maintained and recycled with expert companies to make sure that none of these hazardous materials will ever end up in the landfill. Hmm. And there are also valuable materials found in e-waste as well, correct? Correct. You're absolutely correct. There's a material, the valuable material that could be found, they degree from a normal ferrous metal to a high-grade ferrous metals and uh, to precious metal. Mm -hmm. So anything, I mean, when we're talking precious metal, we're talking in increments. Mm -hmm. So for example, you know, you cannot go make a gold ring out of your one computer, but <laughs> having 20 to 30,000 of them right. in your process that you might be able to make one gold ring. But uh, it does contain platinum, gold, silver, uh, copper, and aluminum and stainless steel and, and so forth. Huh. So. And I, I've heard that rare earth metals are used in making screens, you know, touch yes. screens and all of that. The so rare earth part is actually true. It's a very integral part of making LCDs. Ah. 
and LEDs that you have, you know, for everyday use as being used in all these screens nowadays are all LCD and LED. Mm -hmm. And without a rare earth called uh, indium tenoxide or ITO, none of these LCDs would be able to, you, you wouldn't be able to see any picture. Oh, wow. Actually, so, so that's one of the most highly used rare earths. And is that able to be recycled then? Well, here's the interesting thing about indium tenoxide. Beside it being very difficult to excavate from the earth, um, currently right now LCDs are not recyclable because that rare earth is actually contained within the glass. Well, we've kind of took it one step further and we're able to actually extract the ITO from the LCD glass, the pane of glass, if you will. The only next step to do is to actually solidify it. And we're pretty optimistic that we're going to be there uh, with our team of expert PhDs in our scientific laboratory. Once we are able to solidify the extracted ITO, we would be the first company to actually start recycling LCDs. Oh, that would be amazing. It would. ERS manufacturing is a bridge between electronics recycling industry and the automation technologies. We have a few very innovative technologies and they are all in the areas of dealing with the byproducts of our processes. One is with the CRT recycling where we can recycle all the material like plastics, base metals, uh, ferrous and non-metals, uh, precious metals and so on from uh, a, a CRT television or monitor. But the glass is hard to recycle and most recyclers don't have solutions for them. And this byproduct, we have come up with a uh, way of granulating the glass, turning it, turning it into sand aggregate for concrete products. And we are upcycling that glass into concrete products. Uh, we have another process for our copper wire recycling, where the copper is separated from the insulation, and the plastic insulation is then upcycled for manufacturing other products like roof tiles and uh, other plastic products. Uh, lastly, we have another process for uh, recycling printers, printed circuit boards, and these products uh, end up with a byproduct that is plastic based and resin. And this plastic based byproduct is also recycled or upcycled in a way that would produce plastic extrusion plastic lumber. This plastic lumber can be used for construction industry. Asset Remarketing is one of the programs here that we have at ERS where we actually um, take the used or obsolete equipment and maximize the value to them. So what we do is we debrand them or wipe them or actually shred them or seven time wipe them for clients and the beauty of it is is we actually incorporate them into um, other communities uh, where they may not have the opportunity to use the new technologies we have today. Let's talk about the other materials. What, what is done with the other materials after you've extracted what you need to get out of it? ERS International prides itself by being able not to throw away anything. There is a lot of uh, big companies, what they do, their mandate, when they see a hard to recycle product as an aftermath of their recycling being the mixed plastic or anything else, what they do, they go and incinerate that. And they call it recycling because they're using it as fuel. But ERS says, let's come up with this real solution. Let's not pollute our environment. Let's not pollute the future of their children. And we've come up with a very exclusive solution that enables us to uh, extrude mixed plastic. Hmm. So that mixed plastic actually goes back to our clients to be able to show them that we are able to extrude and we are able to do something with their own material. So for uh, showcasing it and being able to see as we do it as uh, park benches right now. As park benches? Yes. Well, obviously it's better than incinerating plastic, my Definitely. gosh. Definitely. Wow. E-waste removal. ERS safely and securely removes old computers, phone systems, cabling, and other office electronic waste from a client's premises, ensuring electronic equipment is disposed of in an environmentally secure and responsible manner. ERS also provides special services such as warehouse cleanouts. The ERS team of experts arrive on time, quickly and efficiently 
to get the job done in keeping with each client's specific requirements. Secure transport. ERS ensures that sensitive shipments are transported with highest security measures. ERS has equipped their trucks with black box, GPS, and advanced video technology in order to ensure that all shipments are completely safe and secure. Here's how it works. ERS branch offices will coordinate all arrangements for customer pickup. ERS branch office then notifies the head office coordinator with details of when the shipment is expected to arrive at the branch location. Upon arrival of the shipment, the branch office sends the head office coordinator an email with the date, time, and shipment details. The office coordinator then prepares an email with the full details of the shipment to report to the company's designated distribution list. Secure Data Destruction ERS takes data, product prototypes, and product recalls very seriously. From their proprietary drive lockbox system to their secure shredding process, clients' intellectual property will be protected. Clients can even watch from the comfort of their desk as their items are destroyed through ERS International's online digital video verification system. ERS understands corporate requirements relating to data confidentiality and privacy. The ERS processes are certified by a number of institutions, guaranteeing that waste is being handled in keeping with the highest standards and regulations. Well, Secure Mobile Destruction is a service that we provide here. Uh, it is where we understand what data security means to a client or a customer. Um, sometimes they won't want to break that chain of custody, and what that means is they have that data and they can't let go of that data. So they have to actually follow it through till the actual final destruction of it. And we understand how data and prevention of releasing that information to other people is a high focus nowadays. So what we have done is uh, we've had actually had clients come in where they've actually brought their own data, flown into here, had it in their hand, just so they can actually physically view the destruction of their property. So um, we were looking at that and we were wondering, well, why are they going through all the hassle to do all this stuff? Well, why don't we bring the mobile destruction to them? So we thought of a great idea and something that we thought was a great opportunity, a great service to customers and bring this mobile destruction directly to them um, so they can actually see their, their data being destroyed in front of them. We have a mobile destruction that has a, a fully audible reporting system in it, um, also an uh, independent uh, shredder in there as well, so they can actually go to their site, we can bring the mobile destruction uh, unit to them and they can physically be on their property and see their data being destroyed. Jeffrey, you've mentioned upcycling technology. So what's the difference between recycling and upcycling? Upcycling currently is a pretty new term with most the majority of the public. Um, in layman's terms, to recycle is to reuse. Mm -hmm. To upcycle is to redo. See, what we're doing is we're taking what otherwise would have been waste materials, re-engineering these materials into new and innovative products, and reintroducing these products back into the economic cycle of life, hence avoiding landfill 100%. Love it. And what materials do you upcycle? Right now, the most difficult and common materials to re-engineer that constantly do get landfilled are first and foremost mixed plastics, as Sam mentioned. Plastics come in an array of types, from the casing of your computer, to the chassis of your computer, to the cover of your phone, to the plastic covering of wires and cables. Low density, high density, plexly, carbonate, there's all types of plastics. So at the end of the process, we're left with a mixed bag of plastics. Of course, people say they divert landfill by incinerating it, hence emissions, what we do is we actually find a perfect optimal thermal point and are able to fuse this plastic together through proprietary extrusion to create these park benches that we give back to our companies where they can sensibly feel, touch and see where their e-waste has gone. And put a sign on it, this used to be our computer. Absolutely. <laughs> That's too funny. That is a great idea. Sam, what is asset recovery value and how can your clients benefit from that? Uh, if you recall, we told you that ERS involves is involved with a uh, scenario called a profit sharing revenue. Mm -hmm. So that asset recovery actually ties everything into this. So what happens is when you have a computer that or a device or anything that's reusable 
for other unprivileged, you know, non more, not so privileged people outside, you know, the boundaries of maybe our doorsteps or as far as to the next door, next neighbor country like Mexico or going as far as Pakistan or those places that, you know, they already are, they're already a little behind as far as technology and they cannot afford a brand new system. So what we do, we take those assets, we fully clean them and we sanitize them from any data and then we reintroduce it back to these people as a fully functional units that they will, they're ready and willing to pay for it and we share that revenue with our clients. Wow, that's terrific because you're so right. I mean, so often we're just turning our technology, throwing it away or whatever, recycling exactly. it because we're tired of it because it's the old thing and it still works just fine. And still has a home and it still has a place in somebody else's heart. <laughs> Love it. Jeffrey, how do your recycling and upcycling technologies benefit the environment? That's a huge topic. Well, that's what makes E-Waste International a little unique and exclusive. When E-Waste comes to our facilities, it's a one-stop shop. Uh, essentially, some of these materials cannot be handled by other processors, therefore they have to either landfill it, unfortunately, or send it to other uh, places that may process it by calling processing would be incinerating, hence emissions as well. The big thing with ARS International is 100% of, e well, we'd like to say 99.99% .99 of all e-waste coming into our facilities, because we can't account for the dust, is processed internally. <laughs> so if it's not processed, asset remarketed, or um, upcycled, we guarantee 100% uh, landfill diversion. Amazing. So Harry, overall, what does the future hold for your industry and for your company, ERS, in particular? Jackie, I believe that the future is extremely, extremely promising, not only for our company, but for the world as, as a whole. Uh, the globe is realizing the importance of uh, recycling as a whole, and I think it's, it's extremely bright. Excellent. Well, it's been a pleasure speaking with all of you about ERS and your recycling solutions, so thank you all for joining me today. Thank you very much for having us. Thank you, Jackie. Jackie, thank you. And as always, thank you for watching. For 21st Century Business, I'm Jackie Bales.